Welcome back to Steel City Drones. Today is a very exciting day because it's a DJI release day, which we've been waiting for for a very long time. You know, we've all heard about rumors for new models for 2025 for quite some time, but now it's official. DJI has decided to release a new Matrice model, which is bridging the gap between the Matrice 30T and the Mavic 3 Enterprise, while providing a lot of new technology never released before. So let's get right into the new features and specs of the drone. I know everyone's waiting to hear about what that is. Now there's a few surprise moves that DJI has done with this new release. And the first one includes that the Matrice 4 Enterprise has just one battery. So it marks the first time ever that a Matrice Enterprise drone has one aircraft battery, which is quite the departure. Now, even though the aircraft takes just one battery, it is very similar in flight time compared to the Mavic 3 Enterprise. So it's not going to lose flight time. It is a lighter aircraft as well. So it's smaller than the Matrice 30, and it's right around that same size as a Mavic 3. Now, this is also the first model that it's going to allow us to be able to swap out the battery very quickly, as quick as 15 seconds compared to traditional two battery hot swaps. Now, this is also the first Matrice model to not have water resistive features. So, if you need a drone to fly in the rain or the snow, your best option still right now is the Matrice 30 or the Matrice 350. And like we mentioned before, this drone is not meant to replace the other drones. It's more to bridge the gap between the different formats. Now let's get right into the camera specs. I know everyone's waiting to hear exactly what they are. The new zoom features offer an increased resolution utilizing two separate zoom cameras at 48 megapixels. The Matrice 4 has a rangefinder that's rated all the way up to 5,900 feet. That's more than a mile. Now, let's talk about the thermal camera. The thermal camera has a larger sensor for better resolution. However, it still has the overall resolution at 640 by 512. And like the Matrice 30T, the new Matrice 4T has what's called high res mode, which does increase resolution four times to 1280 by 1080 in both picture and video mode. However, it's important to note that the live feed on the screen is not high definition. So for those of you needing a drone for search and rescue, pet rescue, and a high definition resolution imagery in real time on your remote controller, it's important to note that the best option available to you is still gonna be the Matrice 300-350 with the H30T camera. Now this new thermal camera for the Matrice 4 has up to 28 times digital zoom. And that's a strong indication that it will be very clear up to 16 times zoom without any problems. The Matrice 4 is the first DJI drone to offer advanced AI computing, which can automatically detect vehicles, vessels, and subjects with what they're calling smart detection. Now this new technology can be used for wildlife conservation, for animals, and has customizable object detection models that can be custom tuned for your subjects. The new OcuSync 4 is rated all the way up to 15 and a half miles in overall range. So the older RC Plus remote is not compatible with this new aircraft. Nighttime features have a full color scene model and you're gonna be able to utilize the NIR light and black and white mode for clear images and dark environments. And for increased detail, smart 
low light photo mode is available. So for inspections and power grid inspections, it's going to be able to take advantage of what's called intelligent obstacle avoidance, which assists in bypassing objects in complex environments. However, just note that the Matrice 4 still utilizes a one puck RTK system, and that is not going to provide magnetic protection for ultra high power lines. So it's going to provide RTK positioning, but not going to offer magnetic protection like you're used to for the Matrice 30 and the Matrice 300 350. And we can now inspect bridges, even if our GNSS signals are blocked from line of sight issues, using what's called fusion positioning and navigation. Now let's talk about the mapping capabilities of the Mavic 4E. There's new features including slope route, geometric route, and smart 3D capture. Using the built-in DJI Terra modeling, we're gonna be able to generate rough 3D models on site to plan out detailed planning missions. One of the biggest news to come out of the new release is that DJI has finally released a new RTK base station called the DRTK3, which is going to incorporate a 5G network and can now be paired with other base stations to relay signals in areas that have obstructions. The new DRTK3 base station can be used as both a rover to collect GCP data and control points, as well as using it as a base station where the drone can be the rover. But it's still a little unclear if it's going to be compatible in both a base rover configurations where you can use two of them, or if they'll be compatible with third-party GNSS receivers. The Matrice 4 also supports as quick as 0.5 of a second for shooting intervals over the older 0.7 second model, which is also going to provide us a lot better mapping capabilities and give us better flight orbits for 3D models. And it also uses a 5D oblique capturing feature. Now for 2D ortho mosaics, there's a new feature called three-directional ortho capture that's going to give improved accuracy and speed. We also have new terrain following features, which have also been improved using what's called real-time omnidirectional terrain following. Now this uses onboard computing capabilities and it's going to improve the accuracy for 3D reconstruction of detailed projects as well as overall mapping capabilities. Pilot 2 also has new features and functionality. It has a feature called cruise control mode that's going to allow us to be able to be hands off for different types of missions that we're going to be able to put into the controller. Pilot 2 also has what's called observe view, which can highlight the center position of the camera frame and the ground area observed. Now, it's going to display the surveyed area on the map, which is going to be very useful for search and rescue and challenging terrains without clear landmarks. And as far as the overall availability, when this is going to be available, we're starting now to see dealer demos shipping, and we should have ours very soon. And I believe we're really hoping to see customer models sometime in the next four to six weeks. As far as pricing goes, the standard retail pricing right now is $4,800 for the 4E and $7,300 for the 4T. Now, that is subject to change, but we can assure you that we are going to have Matrice 4 as soon as it starts shipping worldwide. Please check back with our website for more details or give us a call. And we are taking a wait list for those of you that want to buy and buy right as soon as it comes out. Now with our wait list, we are not taking any deposits. You do not have to give us any money upfront if, if you are definitely looking to get this. 
So if you want to get on our wait list, please let us know and we'll be glad to help you out. The last thing to talk about is how does this drone, this new Matrice 4, affect any potential drone ban? So let's recap where we are. There is no drone ban in place. Nothing is being banned in the United States as far as DJI drones goes. We are definitely in the clear up until at the end of 2025. Now, what happens beyond that is anyone's guess. However, if everything stays the same as far as the way everything has been languaged and interpreted and presented, if there would ever be a drone ban in place, we are anticipating, again, that it would only influence and affect drones that have not come out to market yet. So for example, a Matrice 6 or a Matrice 7, anything that has not been yet licensed through the FCC. The Matrice 4 and all of its predecessors have been fully licensed with the FCC. So it's not gonna be any concern as long as everything follows in that time frame. And again, we are not anticipating any drone bans in the first place. But I wanted to address those concerns because I know that is on the mind of some of our customers. So with that said, the last thing to talk about is our mapping course, our online mapping course is almost ready. We are gonna start doing on-site mapping training here in Pittsburgh in the spring. And we are anticipating the online course ready sometime in February. So if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to put them down in the comments section below or reach out to us directly. We'll be glad to talk to you about anything that's on your mind. So thanks again for watching everybody and we'll talk to you soon.